All right, welcome to abilities, discovering what you are naturally good at. So in Romans 12, 6, it says, God has given each of us the ability to do certain things well. A quote from Tom Patterson, he said, Show me a person who doesn't know his talents or hasn't developed them for service to others, and I will show you a person who has little sense of purpose, meaning, motivation, and value. And more often than not, I'd say we, we all enjoy things that we do well. So as you see your abilities and, and you get out there and you serve and help and kind of pour out with those abilities, um, there's just a natural joy that comes from it, that comes from helping and, and com comes from serving others and loving others. So Rick Warren says, The abilities you do have are a strong indication of what God wants to do with your life. They are clues to knowing God's will for you. God doesn't waste abilities. He matches our calling and our capability. So through your life, you'll discover things you naturally love to do. That also means there are certain things you can live without doing. The things you enjoy make work uh, more like play. And when opportunities to do these things arise, they trigger and energize anticipation to get started. So it doesn't seem time-consuming. Time it, it doesn't seem a whole lot like work when you're enjoying what you do. And the, the people in your life, you may have heard people comment and say, well, hey, uh, thank you for that. Uh, that seemed effortless, effortless for you. Or, you know, it seemed like you didn't even have to think much about that. Or, or that just seemed so easy. And these are signs of your natural abilities. So... This joy and ease can be translated in how you use your abilities for the sake of others. Robin Chaddock says, Have you ever had someone say to you, Thank you so much, and your response was, But I didn't do anything. So people will be healed by God through you, just being you and doing what God meant you to be. Meant? <laughs> it says, People will be healed by God through you, just being and doing who you are and who God made you to be. Not by all the things you think you may want to do, you think you should be doing, or, or that's a good thing to do, even though God hasn't led you to do that. Um, it's kind of a balance, but just being who we are, being who God created us to be, uh, there's, a, there's a natural flow of things. And um, I know when I try doing stuff that I don't have the abilities to do, it's more of a struggle and um, I get frustrated, and it's challenging, and, and, you know, I might lose my attitude and get frustrated during it, and then, you know, I'm not doing it with a good heart. So, uh, if you realize those things, definitely make sure and rethink what you're doing there, and if your heart's right in it. So, now we're going to start the abilities worksheet, and this worksheet has a lot of um, different abilities it's going to define. Now, the first part here has a love it, like it, or live without it. And what I really want you to focus on here is what you love to do. And I, I've taken these before, and it says check the natural abilities you have and the things you love doing. And I ended up checking a lot, so there's a really big pool. But... This definition that they gave in this book uh, really struck a chord with me. And so if you check something as you love to do it, so imagine that you can't imagine life without these activities. They make your day complete. Giving a choice, you would do these things full time. These abilities are the way you will meet the needs of the people group you identified earlier. They can be, but don't have to be, part of your job. If you are unsatisfied by what you do full-time, finding what you love to do uh, most likely could become what you may do full-time. So just keep in mind when you go through this list and you're reading these sections that if you check the box, it's something you love to do and something you love to do that you would do every day. Now, I love hiking and I love doing projects and I love going on trips and, and spending time uh, with people but would I do that every day? And those things I would not. Um, so 
I love to do those things just in the times I love to do them, not every day. So try and answer all these questions by keeping in mind that whatever you read, you're like, I, I would do that every day. I enjoy doing that every day. And if you didn't do it every day, would you miss it? So keep that in mind. And um, when you're done, uh, so pause the video. And when you're done, come back to this video. Okay, so you should be done with the abilities worksheet. And uh, I just got two things here before we move on uh, to the personality video. So look once more at the top of your list of abilities. Is there anything on that list you, could live, you couldn't live without? Remember the goal is to embrace and express the natural abilities, those things that God has allowed you to excel at, so you can use them to fulfill your kingdom purpose without anxiety, fear, or failure. And I'll leave you with uh, something Michelangelo said. He said, the greater danger for most of us is not that our aim is too high and we miss, but that our aim is too low and we reach it. So thank you guys and uh, come back for the personality video.